Okay, I cannot find a good spot to put you guys, so I'm just going to be bringing you along with me. So I have some honey water here. Uh, I am going to drop my sourdough bread bagels into the water, probably about two at a time. I don't know what size La Crusade pot that I have, uh, which by the way, I got it as a wedding present, best wedding present ever. I made these into medium sized bagels. And this is actually using sourdough discard because I have been maintaining my sourdough bread since December. So I'm going to drop these into the water, let them hang out for one to two minutes each side. And then I'm going to put them on a wire rack to hang out and cool. I have an egg white mixture that I'm then going to glaze over top of the par baked bagels at that point and then I have everything but the bagel seasoning that I'll dip half of these in and then the other half will leave plain and then once all of the bagels have been coated or not I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll show you all what the end result is. I will also link in the description the recipe that I'm following. This will be my second time making bagels. The first time Alex and I tore them up, so I'm super excited to have these in the house. So this recipe says um, to allow the bagels to cook two minutes per side if you want chewy bagels, and we definitely like chewy bagels. So two minutes is up, and I am going to flip these using some handy chopsticks. So I have to say the first two bagels that I put in here are on the larger side, <laughs> which is perfect for breakfast sandwiches. So I know my husband will be happy about that. So I'm gonna put two more in here and set my Watch for two minutes. I found you have to be very delicate when you're flipping these bagels because they are so soft that um, the chopsticks can easily just cut straight through. Okay, so I have four bagels in total done. I have my last two bagels in the boiling honey water that um, only have a minute and a half left on. So I'm going to wash the top. Now granted, this is only my second time making these bagels, so they're probably not going to be the prettiest, but I know that they will be tasty. And I will take the egg wash mixture to all of them, but I'm only going to top three of them with everything but the bagel seasoning to make everything bagels. I think I'm just going to sprinkle them so I can control how much seasoning goes on the tops of these. If you have a favorite bagel recipe that you follow, feel free to share. And if um, you don't have sourdough bread and then not necessarily have discard to make this bagel recipe, I'm sure we would all love to learn of another tried and true recipe to use. Okay, everyone. So I have my bagels ready to go into the oven. So I have three everything bagels and three plain bagels. Again, this is a sourdough discard recipe. It's my second time making the recipe, so I'm by no means a pro, but just again, taking you along for the ride. So I'm gonna pop these in a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, halfway through that, cooking time, I am going to actually switch the trays on separate racks and also change the direction of them just to try and ensure even cooking. So I am going to pop these in the oven and you'll see what the end result looks like. I am absolutely gushing over these microgreens. They are so darn cute. You can see purple and green and white and like the dark pieces are like dark red. Um, I hope my camera can focus. I even switched my bowl. I picked a white bowl initially, but you couldn't even see the color variation. And I'm like, ah, oh, I need some kind of pretty background. So just take a look. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I have the microgreens all rinsed up. It's a mixed variety of small tomatoes. Just think Garden Fresh Tomatoes this year with homemade microgreens. Oh, can't wait. Then I have some oven roasted turkey. Alex and I like to keep deli turkey on hand just in case if we have a quick dinner that we want to make. And then I have a third less fat cream cheese that I'm just bringing to soften it a little bit. So 
I think I will have a kiwi just as like a nice fresh like fruit to go with this um, just because I went to the gym and I'm feeling super dehydrated so I really want some fruit or I might have a mango. I don't think my mango is ripe though. Probably a kiwi. So I'll just quickly assemble some kind of time lapse or something of the assembly and then we will officially be done. Look how gorgeous. I'm actually, I'm always pretty liberal with my greens, so I'm not gonna lie. We're just gonna use them all. It's not like I don't have plenty upstairs that I can harvest. So I'm gonna top this with some pretty tomatoes. This is so gorgeous. So I'm definitely going to eat this with a fork and a knife. Thank you so much for joining me for this impromptu dinner adventure. You all get to witness my very first meal with microgreens I was able to harvest and grow for the very first time. So we did most of the work growing the greens, but there's no point in growing your own food if you're not going to eat it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Okay, so this is, I hope you all can see me. I'm just gonna test here. We have some water that came to a boil with some honey that I reduced down to a medium heat. And I have six bagels that um, I will be dropping into the water, but I'm just gonna make sure you can see me. 25 degree oven.